Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Mark here and today we are doing a triple X top of the line Muleman's bat. As I start this video, I want to apologize to everybody. Unfortunately, due to no fault of my own, the main camera stopped working and I'm just left with my secondary camera. Now I've done the triple X's before. This is the latest in a long procession of them. I don't know which one this is. Might be number 15, 16, 17. They've been doing them for years. Uh, I looked it up. Retail price on this bat is $995. So this is the top bat. Hand selected by Stuart Kranzbuehler. Crafted by him. So we've got specially selected willow. Really nice looking willow. This is grade one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And a slight bit of an eleventh there tiny little bit of uh, blemish down the bottom but overall nice and evenly spiced beautiful white sapwood willow stunning to look at back of the bat nice and clean as well uh, the shape now uh, this is pretty much the same shape that I've seen with the ultimate and the thylacine uh, that I've reviewed earlier it seems to be very consistent for this year so I'm not going to go on too much about the shape it's a nice shape it's very generous um, you've got all that uh, mass in the center and a nice long edge. So you're going to have a huge hitting area there. Once again, you've got a flat face, just like the Ultimate for this year. And there's a tiny bit of bow there, not a massive amount compared to other bat ranges. The stickers are bright orange, silver and white. You've got the texturing with the bright orange around it for the X. And it sort of really stands out. Safety orange, so you know, I guess it's to warm the bowler that you're going to tee off and maybe kill him. This is from the Handmade series, so you get that sort of standard sort of effect here um, as they're doing this year. Bespoke here, Handmade in Australia, and uh, English Willow. It's got the Y, like the other bats on the shoulder, so they're all made for this season. And the handle shape is very much like I expect from uh, Kranzbuehler. It's a nice oval shape really feels good in the hands for the bottom hand and there's a bit of uh, semi ovalness at the top it's not round it's more semi oval so you've got a lot of control in your shot there the shape itself as I've said before once again this year we're getting concaving back which I do like to see it means you can spread that willow out a lot further um, it gives you uh, the bat maker the opportunity to really balance the shape give you something that will perform and pick up beautifully uh, when you have those bat shapes that are really full, it can be hard for them to balance the bat and they tend to come out feeling their weight, so they have to do other sort of tricks with the handle to try and uh, get that to feel a little bit better. So the other aspect of that shape is you've got that spine going all the way down to the toe, uh, just sort of petering out before it. So really, really generous. It means that you're going to have action right throughout into a low position. You could say that's a mid position extending low. We'll have a look at the measurements. So starting here at the shoulders, 18.5, really generous, and 39.4. So I do like the thickness up there at the shoulder. The edge is 40 mil. The toe is 22.5, center of the toe. 26.8 width of the bat yeah 106.7 fairly consistent for this year the spine have a look right in a mid position 64.8 so nice big uh, dimensions there yeah, I, I do like it. It looks a nice looking bat. There's nothing distinct about it. I remember the triple X's of the past. They were just like really outrageous, but this is fairly toned down because it's it feels like another bat from the extended family of Grey Nichols bats for this season. Um, so that's the one thing that I'm sort of seeing that is different. Um, I do like the fact that they've gone for the engraving on the shoulders rather than that stamp with the black ink that always comes off and doesn't look correct. What does it actually feel like in the hands? So this feels beautiful. Pickup is really nice. The pickup of these concave bats is far nicer than the player edition bats or the uh, Cobra 
anything like that. They are really, really nicely balanced. This feels 2.8. It's just really, it's a stunning bat as far as pickup. Probably the best pickup bat I've had of the whole range of bats that have come through. It's 2.8. So, yeah, I'm not surprised. It's really incredible. Um, the dimensions that you're getting uh, for that sort of amount of willow is really, really good. So 2.8, stunning looking willow. Um, the only thing we need to know is, does it actually tap up right? So let's get our mallet out, make sure we're in camera, and we'll start with the toe. So from a mid-high, really nice in that mid, but probably that mid-low sweet spot is, is where it's all happening, right there, and it's continuing down low, off centre, really nice with that flat face, that's going to get better, that is a lovely, lovely bat, thousand dollars, jeez, it's too rich for me, um, I wouldn't spend that sort of money on a bat, but yeah, it's, I'm very envious of it. It's a beautiful bat. So yeah, I, I got nothing against it. It's a, it's a really, really stunning bat. So, oh, they actually, I do have one thing against it. The white grip. Yuck. They just look disgusting after a while. Uh, the finishing. I have winched this year about the finishing. Seems all right. I'm not seeing those sort of uh, sanding lines going across that like I have in the other ones. So it's not too bad, not too bad. A little bit down here, I can see some sanding lines, but they tend to um, bone the edges and bone through. So I think that's just where they boned through the toe of the bat. So nice, really nice bat. Thank you very much, David. Uh, that is the triple X top of the range from Yulman's. Limited edition, I'm guessing. Wouldn't have a clue if they're still available. This is Cricket Bat Info. And uh, if you like the channel, want to support it, there's those things there you can do. You can share the video. Um, I'll be back after this video. Next time you see, I'm going to bring out the entire range and uh, talk about grey nickels. So I hope you're looking forward to that. See you on the next video.